Good morning and thank you for coming back to Concerned Citizens Media. I have uh, uh, some news and uh, a short video from uh, uh, prisoners in Tizan, uh, Saudi Arabia. They secretly recorded and released the video. So that will be at the end. Here are the news for today. Law and order is broken in Ethiopia's justice system. The judges, government attorneys, the federal and Oromia police force are working in coordination in violating prisoners' human rights protection, delaying court hearings dates, and detaining suspect for extended period of times without due process are some of the tactics used by these government's law enforcement authorities. A law witness to hide behind the curtain to subject the suspect to various extremely dangerous crimes is another violation of law and order. In a true justice system, if the Oromia police or federal police refused to obey court orders, he or she will be punished financially or uh, serve jail time. Because of the coordination among law enforcement agents, judges, attorneys, and the police, nothing is happening to the police who refused to release the detainees that the judges order their release. Such drama is keep happening these days under Abi Ahmed's leadership. Today, for example, Misha Chiri, an Oromo American from uh, Minnesota who has been in Ethiopian prison for more than two months ordered by the judge to be free and join his family who are eagerly waiting for him outside. Everything was paid as the authorities demanded. However, because of no law and order in the country, the police moved him to undisclosed prison cell instead of releasing him as order. These coordinated actions against suspects by authorities in Ethiopia are the grave violation of domestic and international human rights laws. They are emboldened by the silence of uh, major nations in the world. The law enforcement agencies, including the military, are doing whatever they want to do under Abiy Ahmed administration. They are laughing at our faces. They are telling us that they do not care about human rights violations and war crimes law. They can jail an American citizen and throw him underground despite the protection he has. United States, German, France, Canada, Australia, Britain, and other countries should wake up and act swiftly uh, before Abi Ahmed is becoming Idi Amin of Uganda, 
who popularly known as Butcher of Uganda. So silence is not good. So the global community and these major uh, countries, uh, they must act before too late. You know, this guy is uh, showing his force, showing his authority against these major countries too. So if they don't catch him right away, he will be the worst dictator in Africa. And uh, he is watching uh, other dictators in, in the globe, watching Eritrean leadership, watching uh, Chinese, watches Russia. So he is looking at different angle uh, to challenge Americans and the Western countries. So they have to, they have to act swiftly against him to make that country a democratic country for for all of us. Let us stand up for the protection of law and order plus for the preservation of principles of humanity in Ethiopia. The Ethiopian government has changed bank notes as part of its effort to curb cash hoarding, illegal trade activities, and illicit uh, financial flows. Ethiopia spent 3.6 billion Ethiopian bur, or 97 million dollars, to replace the old 10, uh, 50, and 100 Ethiopian bur notes, and to add uh, 200 bur uh, is a brand new banknote into its currency. This is another tough targeted strategy against the TPLF leadership and its supporters who emptied, who emptied the Ethiopian banks and ran away to their native land, Makale. So this banknote is mostly targeted those TPLF uh, leadership and uh, who got the money and uh, hiding in Makale. So Abi is attempting to force them to surrender with uh, different means. This is one of the means. The timing for this new banknote announcement is also interesting. Secretly or openly, Ethiopians are talking about the legitimacy of Abi Ahmed and his prosperity party to govern the country after September 25, 2020. So, Abi Ahmed and his supporters can use the excuse of uh, searching for illegal, for illegal banknotes to crack down those who might thinking of protesting the illegitimacy of his rule in the country. Abi Ahmed confirmed that raid against anybody can be conducted without any advance warning to citizens or company or business owners. So changing notes at this time, so he may be using uh, it as an advantage to crack down to the oppositions, because I said it's a, there's a question of legitimacy, so he can now uh, use an excuse to raid any company, any business owner, or any individual who, who challenged him, who may challenge him in this uh, uh, tough time. So he can use uh, the security, the federal police, the military, you know, to crack down any opposition or any person asking, challenging his legitimacy. 
Ethiopians must speak up with one voice and demand free and a fair election in the country immediately. Publicly and voluntarily elected representatives can assist us to form a peaceful and stable country for all of us. And the partial credit for this news is Quartiz Africa News. Uh, this one is a local news. Operation Legend has been in action in the city of Selus to reduce crimes. Operation Legend is a partnership between 50 federal and local law enforcement that's intended to curb the recent upsurge of violent crimes in downtown Selus and Selus County. According to the United States Department of Justice, 89 people have been charged with federal crimes in St. Louis since the program uh, started in August 2020. These charges include illegal farm, illegal firearm possession, narcotics related crimes, and other violent crimes. City leaders, including St. Louis City Mayor Linda Crewson and Public Safety Director Judge Jimmy Edwards, have expressed support for the program. However, some have opposed federal agents' involvement in the local issues. Concerned citizens' media appreciate any effort conducted any effort conducted to reduce violent crimes in our city. Guns should be out of teenagers' hands. Uh, excuse me. Guns should be out of teenagers and criminals' hands to create a peaceful and stable city for us and for our visitors. Opening and creating job opportunities for unemployed, unemployed users and the capable of working African Americans should also be considered as part of reducing crimes. Many African Americans are missing from the construction activities have been going on in the city of St. Louis and the surrounding county. According to concerned citizens' media reporters' first-hand witness account, several construction companies are still behind in mixing up their workforces. So, the concerned citizens' media is, you know, commenting and suggesting that fighting a crime uh, should also include uh, creating job opportunities. You know, that's also a problem. So companies should open up to hire more African Americans into their workforces. And the Concerned Citizens uh, reporter uh, witnessed shortage of African Americans visibly in the companies working in downtown and uh, Selous uh, counties. So that should be considered as you know, they have to implement some kind of quota to increase, you know, the African American employment in their companies. So mostly, the visible workers are white, and the job opportunity should be created. You know, the company should be inclusive in their workforce. So, you know, when people get hope, when people get job and feed their family, they will be away from the crimes. Crimes will be reduced. So that should be included in our strategy fighting the crimes. That's... Okay, finally, 
Ethiopians are crying for help from Saudi Arabia prisons, according to secretly recorded and released prisoners' video. Uh, reveal that Ethiopian prisoners are piled up on top of each other in the overcrowded prison cell. Prisoners are exposed for, uh, for suffocation, shortage of food, and more dangerously uh, to COVID-19 virus transmission. Prisoners are Prisoners also reported high rate of suicides in the prison's population. It is a very serious human rights violation have been happening against Ethiopians in the Saudi Arabia jail. The Ethiopian government and the international community should condemn the Saudi Arabia government for this inhumane treatment of prisoners and answer the prisoners' desperate calls for help. We must reject with one voice such horrible treatment of uh, humanities in the kingdoms in the 21st century. So I have a video uh, of these prisoners it's a very short video. It's a really uh, is a very tough one to watch. You know, it's not supposed to. They are not supposed to be put them in these overcrowded uh, jails. It's like, you know, it's horrible to see this. And uh, the Saudi Arabia government, the international community and the Ethiopian government all should coordinate each other, you know, with each other to solve this problem. This is terrible video, secretly recorded and released to uh, uh, media. And it's, the Saudi government should feel ashamed to do this uh, against Ethiopians. And uh, this is a video shared in uh, uh, from Facebook of Hawinko Janata. Let's watch it. And, uh, <laughs> Look how they are overcrowded in jail. This is shameful, really. This is against the WHO guidelines for prison population too, and it's, it's horrible you know, under under the current COVID-19 guidelines. They are not supposed to keep them in such a way. This is inhumane. 
treatment. This is against human rights protection. It needs immediate attention. They are calling for immediate action. To, you know, they are I don't know how they're gonna feed them like this. How is they gonna? Where is they gonna sleep? How is they gonna sleep? How is they gonna feed them? How are they gonna use the bathroom? How? How they? This is horrible, really. This is horrible. So they are crying and looking for help, and they are looking for help. So that's a tough one to watch. I wonder how they stay like this for days and the night, how they going to sleep, how they going to eat, how they going to come out and use uh, other services. This is horrible. And the global community, the Ethiopian government, the Saudi Arabia government, uh, they must pay attention to this loud and clear cry from prisoners in uh, Saudi Arabia prisons, Izan. They are asking for help before they are exposed to various diseases and the current dangerous virus, COVID-19. So, let's find a solution for them. That's all I have for tonight. Thank you for listening. I will be back with other news next time. So long, everyone.